So for today's video is all about the actual troubleshooting of this refrigerated container. It is a star cool unit which is under chill mode which is giving this in range fault. Which is a trouble like this we need to check the pressures and the side glass if we're having a refrigerant. As you may have noticed we have suction pressure and discharge pressure but the refrigerant level on the side glass is too low. Analyzing the situation of having suction and discharge pressure but too low refrigerant level, it means that we need to check if it is a real refrigerant or it's just purely air. So I have attached this discharge host and purge the system if we have a freon or only air. So I purge the air and stop until refrigerant is already the one that is coming out. After that, I charge the right amount of refrigerant until I have noticed that the level on the side glass is already okay. So I kept the unit running but it is not getting in range and I have noticed that the pressure is not changing. Having constant pressures both on suction and discharge side in which no matter how I increase the refrigerant charge, I will always suspect that there is something wrong with the compressor valve plate. So this is the way how I check if the valve plate is okay. I will close fully the suction surface valve and observe what will happen to the pressures on the display. In normal condition, once we fully close the suction service valve, you will have a vacuum or very low suction pressure on the display. And once the suction pressure did not change on the display, then we can assume that there is already a problem on the valve plate. In which this is what happened after we fully closed the suction service valve. So in this condition, I am already sure that we're having problem on the valve plate LP side, low pressure side of the compressor. So we need to open this cover and change the LP valve plate. So I went to the workshop and took this specific long 17mm socket. This will be the right tool in opening the LP valve plate and then I also went to the reefer workshop to take the spare LP valve plate. So let's come back to the cargo hold and install or replace the LP valve plate. To replace the valve plate, we need to switch off the unit and close all the service valve of the compressor. After closing all the service valve, we need to release the pressure on the crankcase of the compressor by opening the discharge hose. This is part of the safety procedure that I am doing every time that I am working on a pressurized compressor. After ensuring that there is no more pressure, then I have started to open this vault. This 17mm long socket is the only one that will be fitted onto this head of the valve plate. To ensure safety, then I crack open all the heads of the vaults to release the remaining pressure inside the compressor. As soon as I lifted up the head and this happened. A piece of metal which I believe is part of the valve plate popped out from the head. 
So at this point, we are already sure that our LP valve plate is broken. I always have this practice whenever I remove plenty volts from something which I arrange them with the way how I remove them so that by the time that I will put back the cover then I can arrange the same way how I remove them from the cover. So let us now open and see the actual condition of our valve plate. I am hoping that the bits of the valve plate did not wet inside the crankcase. So this is the LP valve plate of a Starcool compressor and the flops of these valve plates are completely broken. This is the main reason why we cannot build up the required pressure. Just to give you an idea, this is the way how it looks like whenever it is brand new and this old one is completely wrecked. So I thoroughly cleaned the area and removed the old gaskets and put the new gasket so that we can have a brand new setup. Please ensure to remove all the broken pieces so that it will not cause any problem in the future. So now let's install it back and hope that the compressor is still okay after changing the valve plate. Ensure also that we wipe out all the dirt and the oil from the previous one so that we can check if there is a leakage once we open the discharge side. Please start opening the discharge service valve before the suction service valve and check if there is a leakage onto the valve cover. After that, then let's try and see if the unit will run in good condition. Actually, the LP valve plate is part of my list of the most common trouble that you will be facing into a Starkle unit of which I am planning to make another video of the most common trouble you will be facing in this type of refrigerated container. So after the startup, as you may notice, the discharge pressure is actually changing from 9 bar and now it's 10.9 bar and the suction is constant at 1.5 bar. And the supply temperature air is easily gets pulled down and I think the unit will run in good condition. And after running the unit for about 5 minutes, the unit went in range and continued to pull down. I am happy that we don't need to change the whole compressor and only the valve plate is the problem. So that's it guys, I hope you learned something from this video and please do not forget to hit the subscribe button, like, share and leave your comments below for more ETO updates. See you on my next video.